Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rock for the Brains. Three asteroids, as you've seen, out in the wilds, the wilds of space. We do have other places to go, and we are working our way over to go and see them. But over on Blagolia, we have a thing that we've been trying to do since last episode. That's right, it's time to move our rocket pad. We noticed last time that there was a whole bunch of heat coming from the rocket down underneath into this little hive pocket down here and we were like maybe we could take advantage of that so we're going to start trying to build ourselves a little heat exchanger at the same time we can also figure out whether we can start making all the temperatures inside this base nice and even we do have a little bit of a stress problem on the go but all of these things are secondary to making sure that this mission gets underway plank is indeed our biggest source of, of uh, stress here uh, let's go and have a look he is currently going down in stress but the more that he's stand in the water the worse it's gonna get I, I feel like we just kind of have to deal with that until we can seal this area in and start building across the top our current um, major objective is to make sure that we are not exposing any of the steam well the potential steam or this water to the uh, to the vacuum of space uh, because if we did we'd start losing it and that that's not what I'm about I am not about losing it whatsoever thankfully Swan Levitt coming along to do a little bit of dig I'm hoping that we can open up this area over here so that we could this pathway I should say rather over this side so that we can close this area off uh, and then just use this one so we're, we're not going up through the bottom then when we've sealed this we can like dig everything out of that 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 would be great we of course also need to try and dig all of this area out make room for the, the rocket and of course move the rocket from here to this side one of the main things that this area will be doing is actually providing steam for the rocket so i should think about putting a little pump in place i say a little pump i'm gonna put a major pump in place a steel pump no less i kind of want to put it down here now that i stop to think about it and you know what we can't do that until this bit's done I, I guess we're just going to sit here and wait. If if we get this all done, I'm then going to start popping open these other volcanoes that we have around and think about how we can tame those. I wouldn't mind an infinite source of both aluminium or... Is it tungsten, the other one? I think it's behind here. No, this... Let's find out, shall we? Let's press the P button. I'm going to uh, start an alarm. Everyone's going to panic a little bit, but more importantly, up in the top left, it gives me an alert that I can hover over. And see, that is indeed an aluminium volcano. So we've got an aluminium volcano there, a cobalt volcano there. Uh, if we don't get to them, I'll get to them next. Yes. <laughs> Okay, with the opening of the side here, I think we can start saying, hey, can we deconstruct this tile underneath and can we maybe get this one built in place? I'm not sure about this one. We might end up with someone getting trapped inside, Swan Levitt in particular getting trapped inside. I'm a little bit worried about that. But I'm also worried about all the debris that we have in here. If we could sweep all of that up, I would also be very, very thankful. We've got quite the building crew. Oh, the, there we go. Well, I was kind of hoping the water could get mopped in other ways first, but okay, we'll, we'll do this first. As I was about to say, we've got the, quite the building crew over here on Blagolia. You're just going to watch me go along and do this as a uh, tile by tile process uh, because everybody else is kind of, kind of idle at the moment. Everything that they need to do, cooking or farming uh, is, is something that they do in the background as and when it is needed. So when they're not needed they just come on down here and uh, provide some building power. Well up here I suppose. Uh, Plank's going to go and dig him, uh, build himself into this area. That's okay. There are dig errands that he can do to free himself. I just always find it funny when the, the duplicates just go, you know what, I'm just going to make sure I'm stuck here and can't escape. I, it's an interesting choice, an interesting choice. Something else that might be interesting, we need to try and figure out how to replace this tile here with an insulated tile. Of course, the easiest way to do that is to just build another tile over the top of it, uh, and then we can grab an insulated tile, go across like that. Can Plank actually not dig his way out? Of here is plank is, is is he undiggable i can't remember the name of the uh, the trait he can't cook no he should be he should be able to dig i wonder why he's not digging is someone else saying they want to dig no requires skill oh he does not have the skill well okay whilst we were trying to figure that out turns out the build process has happened and look at that beautiful everything is now wonderful as soon as this could happen it's telling me the plank is trapped because swan levitt could you could you dig this out please that would be very very helpful and I, I know you're short of oxygen but that's just kind of normal okay you can do that instead i suppose I mean, it's the highest priority here, other than, of course, the alarm priority, which I'm going to throw on there because I can't have one of my major uh, 
major movers and shakers on the base just being trapped inside a tiny box. That's that's not the way that my life works. Okay, great. I've just realised this door is almost certainly not going to be able to stay here because, of course, we need to be able to move, get certain gases in and out, like oxygen. Oxygen going into my uh, my rockets is, is very good. Uh, so we're going to have to try and figure out a different way for this door to go through. I mean, honestly, we could probably just rip down this whole area over here and figure out some sort of airlock system. But uh, that's that's a secondary concern at the moment. Right now, we really do just need to get all of this up and running. Oh, gold volcano is about to go off, and this is really interesting because we don't actually know uh, how how the temperatures are being sorted out here. As you can see, the the, the gold is flowing; it is instantly condensing. I assume we have a whole bunch of gold in the background there that's just uh, building back up. There's eleven point two tons. There must there must be more somewhere. Maybe it's coming over and joining onto these ones. I don't know which one is getting stacked up there'll, there'll be some gold somewhere that's increasing you know what let's also at the same time ask all of this to be swept up uh because that that totally won't lead to someone getting burnt no okay strong day we've got most of the building material done up here i am wondering why this hasn't been built ah electrical engineer is required okay we're gonna have to try and figure out how to do that Okay, I thought I thought I was trying to say here that Faraday had the skill, but he couldn't do so. That that's fine. We'll, we'll have to make an electrical engineer over here, or we'll send Franklin over as she is actually uh, an electrical engineer and could just do that anyway. Okay, that, that that's something to bear in mind. I did wonder why this wasn't getting built. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to try and send. I mean, do we just give someone the skills? Is that is that something we do? Let's have a look at the Blagolia, where we are here. Let's look at all the morale that we've got. Faraday, more more than he needs. That's nice. Goddard, more than he needs. Plank, I mean, that's actually now good as well. Swan Levitt, ooh, that might be a problem. Let's not use Swan Levitt anymore. Let's have a look at Goddard and see if you can get to electrical engineering. It's two. It's two. That might not be the one we want to go for, though. How about Faraday? One, two. We could. We could do Faraday. Let's do that. And that. That seems right to me. Faraday being an electrical engineer. I. I kind of like this. This makes me feel good, given my science knowledge. Oh wait. I just. I literally just said Faraday can't build. What is wrong with me? I've got problems. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna roll back to the beginning of the day because I don't think anything happened today. <laughs> I mean, is it cheating? I kind of feel like it's cheating. I mean, I am just using the save system that is in place, but uh, I don't know, maybe maybe in my heart of hearts, I'm just an Iron Man player, you know? Okay, I think what I might do then is build myself a skill scrubber and uh, just kind of go one, two, oh, one, no, oh, I hit the wrong one, one, two. <laughs> I'm going to build a skill scrubber anyway, and we're going to uh, to make Goddard do it. Yes, indeed. Where are we going to fit a skill scrubber into our beautiful base here? That That is the question. It's not a beautiful base. We need to go around and make this a beautiful base at some point, but right now it is not one. If I was to uh, just throw some airflow tiles down here, is there room? I, I mean, I should have figured this out beforehand whether there is room station skill scrubber thank you oh yeah there's room okay we're, we're just gonna throw that there and we're gonna see what happens uh wh when we need to clear goddard up here okay let's do blubber and then uh, also goddard i know you don't want to but but come along and do this the problem with picking someone who was not meant to be a builder to do some buildery jobs. I also have this problem with Franklin where she goes around and she's actually an operator so she works all the machines but occasionally I need her to build stuff so I've got to use the alarms to get them up and running to do that. That's... Oh, oh come on Goddard. You're, you're breaking my heart here man. You're breaking my heart. Okay, Skill Scrubber has been built. That's good. Goddard should hopefully now just go up and finish that off. Great, great. Another thing that I have noticed is that I'm going to have to try and chill this steam turbine down. That's why I built myself a whole bunch of uh, these drywall plates in the background so that we can put some liquid on the floor. But we also have... Oh, I hit lots of buttons. We also have a bit of a, um, a cooling issue. How, rather, how are we going to cool it issue? I think what I need to do is just pull some pipes up like this and then come back around and then actually we want to have some heavy insulated pipes in here what should we make them out of i don't know what we can make them out of i don't think any of these are actually going to melt so we'll go with the uh, igneous rock and then we bring that down like so and then we'll just we'll chop this when time is right but now is not the time I mean, it's getting close, though. They are instantly getting on to build them. I like that. I like that a lot. We are going to end up with a small gap in our pipe. That's not a problem, though. We can always 
fill up small little gaps in the uh, in the waterways. I, I do seem to have quite the excess of polluted liquids, so that that that's fine. Okay, pipe is done. I'm just going to do one of those. All right, great. That should now make everything just work a little bit better for us. We need to try and figure out how we can drop some liquids on the floor. I've got a feeling the moment we start moving rockets, there will end up being a whole bunch of liquids on the floor. But I'd like to get, uh, get the whole system set up before we just start flying rockets around. Never before have you seen such a level of pre-planning from me. I know, crazy. Okay, just a few more bits of automation to put in just to make sure things don't either bring the temperature down too low. So I've put a thermo sensor here to turn off my steam turbine, which will be doing all the cooling. Or that we run out of steam. I'm going to put an atmospheric sensor here. We're going to have a water line feeding into, if I press F6, you can see it, this insulated line here. The steam turbine will pick up the steam, output water, because it cools down the steam to make water and energy. Uh, and we'll have some sort of uh, liquid shutoff valve uh, next to this line of... Uh, controlled by the atmosphere sensor so if we drop down too low in pressure in here uh, when we take out the steam via the gas pump to put into the rocket this will then start adding more water which we should hopefully keep a nice steady steady equilibrium going and i think we might actually be ready to seal up these doors at that point of course getting the sedimentary rock out of here is the all important there we go great Okay, I've uh, put kind of an airlock in. It's not. It's not actually going to be an airlock, but it is to get the uh, the door out from underneath the uh, the gas port loader over here. Should give a nice way round. We're probably going to have to build some drywall in here. This is space exposure. This is space exposure. This is space exposure. So the top three tiles definitely need to have some drywall put in. We've run out of obsidian kind of awkward but we've run out of obsidian we'll, we'll just live with that uh, and hopefully this should now be a nice contained system once everybody's got everything built that is no oh, no night time's been called and we're not done no we, we, we got we've got to seal this area up hopefully people are going to go around and do so i'm wondering where we're we getting igneous rock from jump on there okay there's a little bit of igneous rock down there a bit more over there okay that that's that's cool that's cool starvation that that's fine that's just because they're working hard enough to uh, to ignore the hunger i mean obviously that's what's going on it's not because i'm making them oh they're gonna run away job's not done sad 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 Okay, we're going to need a pretty serious power system to be able to deal with all the things that we've got here. More importantly, to be able to deal with the thermal aqua tuner. So we're going to have to put down a large power transformer, throw down a couple of more uh, airflow tiles here. I can see it's actually making it all the way across and maybe opening this up to, uh, to as a corridor. Yeah, then we'll be above the wire and we won't have to look at the wire at any point. That, that, that's pretty good because the wire, it makes things very bad. M minus two, 325 decor from the wire yeah not not amazing not amazing i mean amazingly bad maybe i i could i could definitely go with amazingly bad uh what's the material that we got the most of that is gold so i'm gonna come up and uh, replace all of this with gold i mean i say replace i don't really want to change these ones in here but how how do you end up doing that without actually changing stuff i i don't know i don't even know what buttons i'm pressing what is this <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll just make do with that we'll just make do with that I mean, now that that wire has been put there, can I cancel this one? Yeah, great. Okay, that's good. I'm just waiting for this one to get dug and built, and hopefully that will be the next thing to happen. What happens if I just do this? Uh, yes. <laughs> Okay, final wire has been put in place, uh, replace and then cancel. Okay, that's that's good, that's good. The next thing we need to do is try and figure out what's going on with all the gases that are coming out of this steel pump. We're going to try and pump all this oxygen out of here. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is just vent it off to space. We can uh, definitely just, just get rid of it all. Uh, obviously, when we're dealing with steam, we'll be putting it in the rocket. But uh, there's, there's going to be nothing but steam in here at that point. We need to get rid of all of this random assortment of gases. And the only way I know how to do that is via a steel pump i really thought they were going to just build the gas vent then all right we're gonna to have to wait a little bit longer whilst we are waiting though we can watch plank use the airlock it looks to be working perfectly that's great oh why it's had a delivery go go and make it go and make it Oh wow, Plank is about to absolutely pop his cork. I think that's okay. I wonder why. What, what's been going on? Wait, we gotta stop. Unless he's just about to go eat, which should hopefully deal with a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't I don't want him to binge eat. Okay, that's, that, that's what I was uh, very much afraid of. We're just, um, 
gonna send him to the timeout room. That's that's the only thing we can do when they're like, I just want to binge eat. That that that's fine. Thankfully, I don't think he's gonna. Mm, he could start from this. Maybe we'll let him go and have a little food and then interrupt him. Let's see what happens. I don't I don't know whether we can interrupt. This is such a terrible way of dealing with your duplicates, but uh, I I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyway. Hopefully he's gonna binge eat the nice stuff. If he if he eats the 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 uh, let's have a look. Cook seafood. Yeah, that's it. Eat that. Oh uh, well, he dropped it. I I spoke. Are you gonna go down and pick it up? That that's a question I want to know. Uh, okay, you're just gonna eat some fried mushroom. All right, eat eat enough fried mushroom to get you through the day. Have a very bad like bingey moment and we'll okay that's enough food that's enough food pop you back in the pop you back in the timeout room good 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 luck plank i hope you can make it you've got, you've got 200 calorie 2000 calories unfortunately this bad meal that you just had means that i mean you're, you're gonna have problems that we're gonna have a recurring issue here hopefully plank can eat later on when he when he chills out okay 60 percent has been reached let's let plank back out i don't know whether that's gonna add oh that's the wall toy yeah yeah that's what we wanted sorry follow plank let, let, let's follow him around i don't know what he's gonna do when he gets back out hopefully he's gonna go eat but i doubt it because he's got 1500 calories left inside him i think he's just gonna get stressed i, I think we're just gonna watch him get stressed thankfully uh 20 or 30 percent change per cycle is not gonna max him out again before he eats he's gonna get close he's gonna get close but he'll be okay okay well anyway whilst we leave him to do that the pump has been doing its job we're starting to get down to just a single grams of some of these gases out here i do like being able to see that one of the problems uh with the gas overlay or with the materials overlay is that you don't get to see just the gas so i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna watch just the gas let's just sit here let's just sit here and watch this roll for a bit Whilst we watch this pump purify the local environment, I would like to thank the people that keep me pure. That's right, my Patreons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to keep me and my shenanigans rolling forward into the future. Hopefully a little bit more comfortable than the duplicates are doing. Indeed, it is a lot more comfortable than the duplicates are doing here. So, from the very bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you very much, guys. You, you are the reason I can carry on doing this. It, it really is important to me. Thank you. You know, it'd be really nice if the colour of the material faded to a more and more of a grey, given on how much there is here. You know, super saturated colours for, like, above three, three kilograms or something, and then just gets faded down to more of a white as we get down to the, the single digits of micrograms. That, that, that would really be helpful, just trying to figure out what's going on here. Uh, okay, so talking of trying to figure out what's going on, let's just do a quick morning run round. Maybe, mostly, sorry, not maybe, mostly seeing what's going on with Plank. Uh, he's got, he's eaten some good food. That That's the important thing there. He has eaten some good food, so his morale is high, which means he can kind of just sustain himself where he's at. That's the, unfortunately the best we can hope for. This guy, by the way, came along and ate all my uh, my chlorine in here, so we, uh, we're, we're spewing out dirty oxygen over here. Uh, whilst it's a uh, problem that I do want to fix at some point it's it's not a problem that I'm going to concentrate on right now Okay, with 371 grams of a uh, kilogram, sorry, of water in each of these tiles, and about four tiles above each of them, we're going to end up with just under 100 kilograms of gas in each of these tiles, which is fine because you know what, gas doesn't really want to go above five kilograms anyway. So five, uh, so 100 kilograms, it's a lot more than that. We of course are going to have to refuel the engine out of that, but that's only 150 kilograms. That's really that's that's not even going to be two, two tiles. So that that's fine. I think we've got enough water. To to sit in there for the moment. I wonder where people are going to try and put this. I don't think it can actually go anywhere. I don't have anywhere for liquefiables. Maybe I should drop them in here though. Keep the gold volcano cool. Uh, let, let's try that. Let's get an auto, automatic dispenser, turn it around. This is all going to have to get cleaned up at some, at some point. We've got a lot of slime and algae and uh, things that outgas. Uh, does the slime have slime lung in it? It doesn't actually. We might be okay. We might not need to, uh, to deal with it. Okay, so with that up, I'm just literally going to come down to the liquefiables and think about what I want to not have in here. I don't think there's anything that I don't want to have in there actually. That that looks fine. And indeed here comes Swan Levitt. Make the, the little delivery for me. This should be good. Blop, 
and it gets dropped in and immediately... Oh, I thought it was going to immediately melt there. Let's have a look at the ice. We're at 0 0.5 degrees. We've got to get all the way up to, uh, to 3 degrees when it melts. But I think the fact that this gold volcano is uh, is also pumping heat into the uh, polluted water should should help immensely. Man, the, these starvation alarms, uh, I mean, they're, they're a bit overzealous. You see how they almost immediately disappear? That's because Faraday immediately went and got some food. Okay, 2.2 degrees, 2.3. It should be almost immediately at 3 degrees. Okay, that went up even quicker than I thought it would, giving us a nice little ledge of water there. That's nice. Oh, it's a little worrying, actually. Swan Levitt's going to find liquefiables elsewhere. I, I mean, this is fine. This isn't the end of the world. Minus 13 will take a while to warm up. Uh, yeah, no, I think I think we'll be fine. All we're going to do is turn a lot of water into steam, which will condense on the pipes and fall back down again. That's that's fine, right? <laughs> oh, it took a little while, but Goddard is now the most stressed duplicate. Okay, let, let's let, let's pop him in there. Hopefully, he's going to sleep first. Yeah, he slept first. That's that's good. Okay, a new and beautiful day has begun. Goddard should hopefully be like straight onto the skill scrubber. I do like the fact that I have, I've not turned any of the uh, priorities up for it, and immediately that is the first priority. That that's good. Do you know what should also be our priority? The fact that ugh, we we've got all this stuff down here that we need to sweep up. Ugh. Okay, Goddard's skills have been thoroughly scrubbed. Let's come back up here, though, because we do want him to do a couple of things, including cooking uh, and the ability to carry stuff. The, the, these are both things that we need. Uh, plus two strength and plus four. I'm, I'm wondering whether we want to come down here for improved tidying for a bit more strength as well. It seems like he wants to do this, so I'm going to let him be the plumber slash tidy person. That's great. As, as well as the cook. Amazing. And the stress is plummeting for him because obviously the, his morale just like over the top. Okay, th th this is good. This is great. How are we doing over here? Still, still pumping hydrogen. Okay, fair enough. Okay, with these last few blocks being taken out, oh, well, th thanks, Swan Lever. Interrupt me while I'm talking. With these last few blocks being taken out, we're going to go ahead and take all these ladders off of here because I want to be able to clear the way for this rocket platform. Obviously, we cannot land a rocket where there are a bunch of ladders. It does mean that we've got a situation where we don't actually have access to this area here unless people come up via this route. I think that's okay. I think I can live with that. And if, it, if I can't, I'll put a doorway in and another way up, something like that. Taking these ladders out shouldn't be a problem. We've also put another ladder way in to make sure that we don't lose access to this route over here as well. Plank, what are you doing? You're going to fall. I suppose that's okay, though. One thing that's not okay is the fact that this is still all the way up here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's not reachable anymore. That's a bit of a problem. I'm going to have to actually throw in a ladder. I did. I literally just took all these ladders out. Why would you make me do this? Okay, new ladder has been put in place. Hopefully Swan Levitt will come along and do the dig. Okay, one thing I have learned is that Swan Levitt will not dig unless we've got things up at nine. Uh, I guess I can let you store those materials. That's fine. I, I am going to have to do another cut, though. I do prefer it when I can do it in one cut without having to, like, do a lot of editing. <laughs> so uh, that, that was a little bit sad for me. But I think we've got everything that we need to do here. Let's see if we can rename this rocket platform. Uh, 513. We're about to find out. Do I, do I put Plank in here as well? We're about to find out whether we can actually just move a rocket up one. Yeah, that's going to cost one tile to do so. It costs three to get over here. I... I think I'm okay with it. Are we, are we about to watch Goddard leave? Okay, that's not quite what I wanted to happen there. Okay, how, how do we get Goddard out of there? I mean, we wait wait for him to leave. Okay, uh, I'm not even going to go crew. Let's begin that launch sequence. No plank. I know I clicked it and then... then no, 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 no. Move, move over this way. No, move over this way. Thank you. Is that something that... No, you, do you need to be in the re recurring rocket? I don't know. Anyway, if you, if you go to space, that's fine. We'll bring you back. That's that's not a problem. Do we need... We do in indeed need a pilot on board. Okay, that's fine. So we're, we're literally going to Send Plank up 572513. Let's remember which one we're going for. 513 is indeed the one we want to go for. So if I grab this rocket and go, hey, can we change to here? I want to I want to not have any. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. 
Looking inside the rocket, can I change it? No, it doesn't look like that's a thing I can do. Unselected? Uh, is this about to cost me some more fuel? I think I think we're about to have a bad time, but that's okay. Let, let's let's wait and see what happens here. I really want to select the spaceship, but it won't won't let me. That's that's a big shame. That's a big shame. Yeah, and the rocket landed on the wrong pad. That's that's not what we want. But look, look at the hydrogen spiked in temperature. Massive waste of resources, though. Absolute waste of resources. How do I tell it to change? I don't know. I don't know. Cut. Where, 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 where's my dude? Where's my dude? Okay, come on, Plank. Let, let's get going. We'll, we'll figure out all the, uh, all the finesse of this later on. Maybe we need to go further away. I don't know. I, I will pause when we're up in the star map so that we can see what happens if we change this rocket platform. Okay, pause. Change direction to there. Any rock, rocket platform? No. Five, one, three. Okay, let's go back down for that landing. Okay, that, that was a little bit more awkward than I was expecting. But here we go. The big old uh, rocket landing platform. And down below, there's nothing to, to warm up. Okay, that's actually a bit of a problem. We needed to have vaporized the water, the steam, first. Well, that's not the biggest problem because what we can also do is turn this thermal aqua tuner on. It's just going to take a lot longer and Plank's going to be stranded here for some time. Okay, I've uh, 250. 250 seems like a good temperature to be turning the aqua tuner off. Overheat. Wait. Wait. What's this made out of? Golden mount. But we've got so much still. Why would I have done? Oh, no. Okay, I, th I think I know how we're going to save this. Uh, we're we're going to dig through here. We're going to flood this little area. We're going to take these two sections out. And we're going to try and get into it that way. Go oh, man. What, why is it Gold Amalgam? Who who even set that up, hey? Well, we're going to let this thermal aqua tuna that is here go around and cool this water off. We've got 20 degree water going in. We've got 6 degree water coming out. Should be um, anything above 20 degrees it's cooled down. So that is fine. Uh, I really would like this lot taken care of, though. Okay, the time is very much now. Swan Levitt is on the way to take out this final tile. We want to destroy this aqua tuna as soon as it happens. Suddenly... Uh, Currently, sorry, not suddenly, being read as unreachable. But, of course, we do have the ability to dig through the side here or not. Okay, there we go. It is happening. This is good. We could hopefully get polluted water underneath rather than actual uh, normal water down there. Uh, let, let's just make sure that people are on their way. Who is going to do it? Swan Levitt, that would be great if you could, please. I don't even know where you are. All right, great. That's that's good. If I press B and then watch over to the steel one, uh, we should be able, as long as, as long as this actually happens, to be able to replace this nice and swift. Lee, Swan Levitt, you doing okay? I notice you're walking back and forth quite a lot there. Uh, I assume that you're having breathing difficulties, what with being underwater all the time. Uh, this one, I, I just, I want everyone, everyone on this. Don't care, red alert, get on with it. You are not sleeping. I want this thing fixed. Oh man, Goddard actually being the one to take the hit here. Swan Levitt came along, made some de uh, made some deliveries, and then ran away. That's that that's fine. I don't care as long as someone can get this finished. And just like that, we're done. Okay, cool. Let's don't turn the red light off because we're getting some some messes made. Who was the other person? You know what? I don't I don't care. I I just said that very loudly. I don't care. Yeah, it looks like we're about to lose access to the inside here. I'm, I'm okay with that, actually. I'm okay. I cancelled that too early, it turns out. Totally could have left it running. Uh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll let that fill up. Uh, 300. We, we've actually got a net gain of water out of that. That's beautiful. Who? Who's having... Plank, my friend. We're on the floor. Why can't you leave? Wait, let's, let's find out. What have I done wrong here? Of course, there's no ladder. Okay, we don't have long to be able to fix it. We don't have long. Let's see how quickly we can get all this built. Oh man, this, this could be some troubles. You know what, every other one is good enough. We do not need all of them up and running. Uh, yeah, okay, that, that, that should work out for us. That should definitely work out. Let's cancel that deconstruct. We don't need that one. And hopefully people can just carry on up. I, I would really hope that uh, we can get Plank out of there before he has too much of a bad time. I can't believe there's no food in here whatsoever. There's a, there's a bunch of, like, 
rotted food. Oh, and he's away, and he's away. I think that means, oh, but bits are being provided. Oh, if only we could get these last two bits in place. Where, where is everybody else? Why isn't this a thing? Downtime's been called. No, 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 no. J just big nose, you know. We, we, we gotta get everybody on this if at all possible. Where are you even going, Goddard? Okay, gone round to pick up more sedimentary rock. That's uh, interesting, but not quite what I wanted. Yeah, okay, where's Plank to fill that in? And now you can jump down and now we turn that off and hopefully he's safe. Okay, cool. We're, we're good. We're good. That was, that was a lot of panic there. That was a lot of panic. Is he going for food? Please tell me you're going for food. That's that's the only thing on your mind, right? Great. Wonderful. Ooh, that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> But I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. We have managed to get the whole Steam box built down here. It's going to take some time for this actually to turn into Steam. But as we're talking, things are heating up the water. The Thermal Aqua Tuna is waiting to go. We could probably launch and, and land the rocket a few times and see what happens. Did, did this guy just deliver some food here? Did you really? Look, there's now food in there. I just... No. <laughs> just just no. But I, I will see you next time when we are going to try and unplug all of these uh, cobalt volcano, aluminium volcano, start pumping all the heat into this little box here, and we will enable ourselves to have a fresh and wonderful steam supply. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.